wipe the car down already once, but I'm gonna grab some old shirts and do it. Just wipe it down real quick. When I welded this firewall to the uh, to the cowl, there were a few spots on the passenger side that the paint kind of bubbled a little bit. It's actually loose. I'll end up redoing probably this this you know these sides on both sides. Some of this paint, you can see this whole section right here. That paint bubbled off. So I ended up having to peel it off. It's a little bubbled here too. So that, that got compromised. A little bit right there that got compromised. I could probably leave it, but that's bare metal. And I don't want that to rust. So I'll probably do some work here in the front of these wings. And yeah, whatever else I need to do. And then like I said, the rest of it will just get painted. The firewall will get painted. This will get filler along this seam and down the front of the wings on both sides get seam sealer I'll show you over here it's gonna get some seam sealer down in these here it's a really tough spot to weld and clean up because it was less of, less of a 90 degree angle so it's really tough to get in there so that'll get that'll get seam sealed and yeah that's pretty much it you know so let's get this car wiped down real quick nothing crazy just enough to get the tape to stick so I can get some plastic on the car. And I have tons of rolls of like painter's plastic because that's what I do for a living. So I'll go and grab that. And get everything masked off. So this will be a little bit of a slow process as you can imagine. So I'm just going to try to make my life a little easy like I said and kind of overlap some of these areas with the tape and then just go over the edge with a razor blade instead of trying to really you know follow the edges that would be a lot easier like I said if I had fine line tape which I don't fine line it gets expensive I have some rolls of it but it's older and I don't know how good it is right now I'm sitting. This will do the trick. In the last video I posted, I posted up the firewall video and at the end of the video I had showed everyone the, the rear suspension arms. A um, lot of really good suggestions on how I should do things and I'm definitely going to take a lot of those suggestions and advice and build something with a little more, I don't know what the word is, forgiveness or less rigidity. I want something that's going to move with the car when it needs to. Uh, I'm going to do some research. I'll jump online. I'll, I'll, I've watched a lot of different videos and my friend Joe who helped me do the steering arms and was doing the interior for me he's really good at that stuff so I'll probably ask Joe to maybe come over and talk to me about it and kind of step me through the process of what his thoughts are and why I don't want to take any chances as you guys can imagine I don't want to take any chances, obviously, on the suspension. That's a that's a real uh, serious a serious vital part of the car. So I want to make sure that it's going to be done right, and it's nothing I'll have to worry about moving forwards. So I'll tape this here, and then I'll tape I'll tape to this with my plastic.
So I plan on taking the deck lid off. The reason is that I have to seal the prop and then it just it's easier for me to access everything. And it's less things I have to mask off. In order to do that I need to remove the four bolts that are holding it on or eight bolts that are holding it on and it, I, I can't remove the deck lid with the hinges off the car. I need to remove the deck lid from the hinges first and then remove the hinges off the car. I've already sealed the hinges and epoxy a while ago when I did everything else on the car. So I, those are done. I don't need to worry about those. I also have the gas tank mount that I can get in sealer and the emergency brake handle mount and obviously all the flow pans. So with that being said, I gotta get this off. But for now I'll just run some tape down top of the car. So I can get that these quarter panels covered in plastic. Alright, so I got the bolts. The bolts undone and the deck lid prop disconnected. Get this out of the car now. I started loosening this and I kind of wish I hadn't. So I need to get that tightened back up again. Alright. I don't think I'll really be sealing anything that's real close to this top edge, but. Well, I guess it will be because I get a yeah, I get to spray the mount for the gas tank filler, these tubes, the little catch I made for the deck lid, for the latch that's gonna get sprayed. I'm also gonna mask off my master cylinder. I'll get that in epoxy, just because it's clean metal. I haven't done, I haven't sandblasted any like the pedals or anything like that. I'll have to do that. But they're going to end up being modified because I haven't figured out the clutch yet. Um, because I didn't have everything I needed at the time when I took the car apart. So that's just going to be something I'm going to need to do down the road. I'm going to mask off the back window. And then the driver's side quarter window. <laughs> So as I, as I had said before, this is just going to kind of be a slow process. Probably could have done it something like that. And then just folded it up. Well, then I'm kind of risking, risking getting sealer on the paint. These projects take a long time. It's hard when you lose your rhythm because you lose all motivation at the same time. Even, even you could spend months and months in the garage and get so much done. You take a week off, it's like hitting the reset button. It's like in your brain, you, might, you, like you forget what you got done or something. It just messes with your head. Or that's what happens to me. Allie and I got Dylan a new dirt bike last week and we, I spent three days, spent the first day going and getting it after work and then two days after work adjusting the bike, getting it set up for him and then riding, get, getting Dylan to ride it. Those three days and then I had to work late the next two days and then we went to New Hampshire uh, for, for Friday night into Saturday. It was a week off of the car and man, like I said, I tell you, it, it messes with you. It really messes with you. Alright, so I'm going to get some plastic and get this car plastic off now. And I'm uh, going to get some things moved around, get some things covered in the shop. I'm not spraying a ton of sealer, but it's still epoxy and the stuff flies everywhere. Alright, got my plastic. I think this is 9 feet when you open it up. So...
go a little longer than the car. Throw it across the top so it hangs down on at least one side past the bottom of the car or at least to the bottom of the car and then I'll tape it to the bottom starting at the lowest point. Now I can cut it off where the blue tape is or I could just fold it up and not take a chance of snagging the plastic with a dull razor blade or I'm just pulling it the wrong way. Try to make sure I cover anything I don't want to get sealer on. Now this is obviously going to get cut out. just want to kind of keep the plastic as straight as I can. So obviously that's a big overlap. I have my tape here for my quarter windows. I left it overhanging so I could stick the plastic to it. That side's good. This is not the sharpest blade. I just want to use a brand new blade. Cut this right across. I need to continue the plastic down over that rear quarter. So Just go as far as I can with this. If I can cover that rear tail panel. So I'll get this taped off. So I'm doing the same thing on the passenger side I did on the driver's side, which is start at the bottom and work my way up. Now I have you probably see it. I had the U-bolts here. Holding the front axle and spring in. This was just rattle can spray paint that I hit this with to keep it from rusting. But I couldn't do this inside the U bolt, so I can get this cleaned up right now. And then wipe the firewall down. Just kind of wipe everything down real quick. I'm not going to go crazy. And mix up some epoxy and spray it. I just wiped the whole inside of the car down. I don't think I was recording. Having one of those days, you know? Throw my respirator on. To protect my brain cells. All right. The two I have left. My sealer from Napa. It is Martin Senor or Senor. I think it's Martin Senor. Uh, gonna get everything ready for that. Like I said, get some cups, some strainers, and make sure I have everything that I need before I open that up. That's about three times more seal than I actually need, but I have a gallon of it, so I'm just gonna use it up.
I'm going to do the same over. I'm going to do the same over on the passenger side. There's really not a lot of room over there to, to film from, so I'm just going to leave the camera where it's at. Hello, people. It's foggy in here. I can't really take my respirator off, but I'm going to do a quick walk around, show you where I'm at. I uh, got, I'd say probably three to four coats of sealer on everything. So as you can see, black sealer. Again, that's probably three to four coats on the firewall. It's ready for body work at this point now, once it dries. Same thing as on the inside. I'll repaint all of this, the body color, and do, do the same treatment I did as up here. You can see everything's everything's covered in sealer. I did up inside the quarters. I didn't bother but worry about the doors. Got a little bit of overspray on it, but it's fine. It's gonna get covered with interior panels anyways. I used what I had left in the gun and sprayed the dolly. I may put a little bit more in the gun and spray the pieces that I just didn't get sprayed because I ran out. But as again, as you can see. Everything's covered in sealer. I'm probably just going to leave it in sealer. And I'm going to let it dry. After it's dry, I can cover the car and then I can get to work on all the floor panels, package tray, and everything for the trunk and all that other stuff. While I'm doing that, I'll do these pieces. I'll start sandblasting, I'll break, I'll break down this, I'll get that painted, you know, stuff like this can get pulled apart, sandblasted, just really start going through all the little bits and pieces and start getting everything in sealer. But that's it, thanks everyone, I'm not going to take my respirator off quite yet. Thanks everybody, I appreciate you guys' support and following along. I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.